Okay. We were discussing uh, reforms in uh, KG to 12 uh, the school systems or of children. This was about ourselves, about adults. When we are seeing teachers, does not mean uh, the, our brothers and sisters who are employed as a teacher. That means ourselves as adults, we need to learn. We need to wake up the child inside us, which has been dulled in, in the process, uh, how, how the artificial and split behaviors we adults do day and night. We have to a little bit come back to our common senses. Through question, through reflection, and through story. It's probably very easy for you to remember. It's a P, Q, R, and S. That's the methodology that we came up after this 10 years of research that we have started sharing. Where did we get it? From nowhere else, from great teachers. Great teachers were always there in every era, in every field, but does not mean that all experts were great teachers. They were not. For instance, we talked about Michael Faraday. He was a great teacher in science. If we take physics, Richard Finman, he is the great teacher. By the most brilliant explainer of the subject. If we have to come to the history, he was the great explainer. Ibn Khaldun. If we have to come to maths, the one person who, whose uh, name we cannot escape is Martin Carter. If we have to come to wisdom, whatever culture we are from, we know there was somebody who taught us wisdom. So uh, these great teachers came up with uh, methodologies and interaction with the children which inspired them and triggered them and put them on an endless path of the curiosity. So this is essentially the how part, how we will do it. It's very important to know how, but it's more important to know why. So in education, we a little bit pause and reflect the direction which we are setting. Uh, the how part is this, but the other part, the problem part is what at the end of this, uh, at this process we are going to get because these are means. Many a times we adults are stuck up with the means, losing sight of the ends. Ends are what we are doing. Is it really relevant? Is it really uh, the direction that we must pursue? So the relevance is a very important part to pause and see. And the other part is quality. Okay, what we will do, will it be really effective and efficient and attractive, right? And this, the third part, which in our countries who are a little bit lagging behind in resources is the access part. Who, who should be, I mean, uh, in, uh, the system should, uh, eventually should not be for those who can afford, it should be for those who ought to be in the system. So that is essentially which everybody should do and uh, we should also play our bit of it but our focus in this discussion is the relevance and the quality dimension the how dimension part of it and the how the ends are obviously it's very important to know yeah we are working on a human and the human that we are working on has very important uh, elements has a brain or has a mind and 
has a body and obviously has a sound that is what differentiates it from the rest of the creatures and we need to nourish and nurture ourselves uh, along all these uh, intellectual, physical and spiritual and emotional dimensions so that at the end we have people on this green and blue planet who can live with peace and who can coexist with the nature and the other organism living or non-living, visible or not visible, essentially who can think. All right? And uh, in the next lecture, we will start how, where does this process start for this organism and where does it stop and uh, on this conveyor belt, uh, where are we targeting to intervene and scale ourselves. Thank you very much.